Let's start things off with a fantastic game. Number 20 coming into the weekend, Southern Oregon. They visit number nine, College of Idaho. The Yotes trying to rebound from a tough loss against Montana Western. They wouldn't get it. Uh, Southern Oregon comes in here and they put on a show. And the final of this one being 45 to 27, certainly not something I expected. Once again, Matt not joining me tonight, but I would have guaranteed that he probably would not have predicted that result either. This squad looked really good, like wire to wire. They start things off 14 0. Gunnar Yates, a 10 yard and then a 68 yard touchdown run. We're going to talk about a lot about him here in a minute because that would not be the only times he did that on the night. But this Southern Oregon squad really looked dominant on the ground game, offensively and defensively. These highlights I'm showing right here are all from the second half. And when you look at some of the team stats from this one, you go down 258 yards on the ground for Southern Oregon in this one. That feels like a really, really good number. 571 yards of total offense there. And two interceptions to go on top of that. So you're getting the takeaway battle. You're winning the ground battle. Time of possession was almost 37 to 23 minutes in favor of Southern Oregon. This is just all these different things going in their favor. They really feels like they dominated this matchup across the board. And really was not expecting this from College of Idaho. Expected them to bounce back. But we see the dominance as uh, I'm kind of going through it right now. A big part of that dominance... The graphic I'm about to show you right now, Gunnar Yates and the day that he had for SOU, absolutely ludicrous. Take a look at this stat line. 31 carries, 293 yards, four touchdowns against the number nine team in the country. That's just not something you see every day. That is different. That is absolutely different. Here's a cut-up of some of those touchdowns here. Starting things off with his quick, uh, almost 10-yard touchdown, running in between the tackles off to the right side there. Nothing too crazy. The next one, that's where it started to get ridiculous, was a 68-yard touchdown that I'm sure we'll get to here in just a second. Back in their own territory, right on the 30-yard line, through the tackles, cuts out left, and he's just outrunning Yote defenders here down the sideline. Goes for the ankle, kind of the trip up there. Not even a chance. Yates pulls away. What a career day for Gunnar Yates in the Southern Oregon offense. I'll continue to let these play as I talk a little bit more about this contest because, oh my goodness, you just got to respect that stat line. Now, the schedule moving forward for the Raiders out of Southern Oregon, it's not exactly easy. They're at home against number four, Montana Western. Then you go on the road at number 10, Montana Tech. Two teams we've talked about religiously on this program. It's really tough next couple of weeks. But right now, the momentum that this team has, they're 3-0 and coming off a great home win. And this is just, it feels like all the momentum in the world is going up right now for this Raider offense and this Raider team in general. I am very excited to see what this Southern Oregon's, other, or Oregon excuse me, squad can pull off. I have not been tuned into enough of their games. That is going to change these next couple of weeks. I tell you that right now. I'm absolutely going to be tuned in. But we'll keep moving forward on the NAI scene.